Arsenal are serious, guys. Yeah, that is correct. I finally said it. This team could win the Premier League. Last night, man, oof, that was absolutely crazy situation. Now, I know that Sheffield United are not the best team in the world. And yes, they are probably the worst team we've seen in the Premier League since Derby. And some people are saying they're even worse than Derby County were. But the way that Arsenal moved the ball around the pitch, the control of the ball, the ruthlessness of their play, I just looking at them last night and I thought, these guys are serious. And then, if you forget last night, Newcastle, 4-1. Burnley, 5-0. West Ham, 6-0. Liverpool, 3-1. And Crystal Palace, 5-0. Now, I know some of these teams that they're playing here are not the best teams in the division. You're like, so your Burnley's, West Ham are in horrific form. Newcastle are really up and down. But you can only play against what's on the pitch against you, right? And they also beat Liverpool in there. So I, I, I think that people who are saying that Arsenal can't win the league, I, I think that you need to start respecting this Arsenal side more. Because... This team can win the Premier League. They can. Now, here's the biggie. Here's the biggie, in my opinion. I think for Arsenal to win the Premier League, they have to beat Man City next weekend at the Etihad Stadium. I think they have to beat City. They have to beat us. I don't feel that a draw is enough. And I think if they lose the game especially if City beat Liverpool this weekend at Anfield or Liverpool beat City, basically anything other than a draw, City versus Liverpool, I think it's not enough. I think Arsenal, I agree with Gary Neville, Arsenal have to win at the Etihad Stadium. Now, Arsenal have pretty poor record against City in whole, you know, across the whole competition, regardless whether it's home or away. But at the Etihad in particular, they are, they are bad. Yeah, last year... They come to the Etihad, they needed to win. We absolutely slapped them up, yeah? You could tell that the Arsenal players knew that they did not deserve to be on the same pitch as the City players. They weren't in the same calibre. And, and ultimately, Arsenal bottled it last year. But what Arsene, not Arsene Wenger, what, sorry, Mikel Arteta has done to the Arsenal side by bringing in Declan Rice has added a bit of steel in that midfield. And I think that's maybe what Arsenal were lacking. And obviously they did have Granite Xhaka, but Declan Rice is, is different gravy, man. He's different gravy. And the way that they're moving the ball up top is just absolutely insane. They move the ball so quickly. To be honest with you, I'm surprised it was only 6-0 last night. I was I turned it off after the first half because I, I can't watch any more of this. But that first half, mate, it was absolutely ruthless. And you heard the Arsenal fans singing... We're going to score in a minute. And it's true. They knew they were going to score. It was obvious that they were going to score. Let's have a look before we end the video at Arsenal's remaining fixtures. they got Brentford at home. Listen, that's one of those games where Brentford potentially could do something, but it's at the Emirates. And I just don't see anything other than an Arsenal winning, to be honest with you. Don't be surprised if this is another 4 5 6 nilla because it's at the Emirates. After that, they've got Chelsea at home, early kickoff. Now, that is a few days after that big game against Porto in the Champions League. And we've seen Chelsea before against Arsenal with a 2 2 draw, against City twice, home and away. Chelsea have a result in them. They're a terrible team with a terrible manager. But on the day, if everyone turns up, and maybe Arsenal, City, Liverpool, whoever they're playing, don't fully turn up. Chelsea are good enough to get a result. Still expect Arsenal to deal with Chelsea. And then it's City. Then it's Manchester City at the Etihad. They have to win that game, in my opinion. They don't win that game. I just don't see it. And, and listen, Arsenal fans watching this, I'm not saying it because I'm digging you. Yeah? I'm saying it because I genuinely feel that Arsenal need to beat Manchester City. And if they do, geez, they could do it. After that, looting at home should be a straightforward W. Then a semi-tough test away at Brighton. You don't know what Brighton you're going to get. If, again, if Brighton turn up, all the players are fit, 
Deserbi gets his tactics right, that could be seriously tricky. If Arsenal beat City, I expect Arsenal to go to Brighton and do the job. Then you've got a tough game against Villa. That's a tough one. Yeah, City, Liverpool and Arsenal all have to play Aston Villa in this, in this running. Villa is a tough team and they're going to have a big say in this title race. After that, Wolves away. Difficult place to play. They're a good side, Wolves, but I expect Arsenal to deal with that. Then Arsenal play Spurs away in the North London derby. And of course, Spurs will be doing everything possible to stop Arsenal winning that game to dent their title hopes. I actually feel that Arsenal can deal with Tottenham away. No problems. I actually think it would have been more difficult if it was at the Emirates. Because I think if it was at the Emirates, Ange, not that he usually does this, but he might get away with playing slightly more defensively. If it's at home, in front of all those Spurs fans, he's not going to get away with that. That means Spurs are going to be pushing up. They're going to press. It's going to be an open game. And I just feel with the quality in the middle of the park with Odegaard and Declan Rice, and then obviously you've got the likes of Saka, um, Havertz at the moment who's killing it. These players can take advantage. Listen, it's a tough game, don't get me wrong. But I think I actually think Arsenal will deal with that. Bournemouth at home, three points, easy. United away. I've seen some people speaking about this, saying this could be a tricky game. On what planet is this going to be a tricky game? Man United are absolutely shambolic. Yeah? Shambolic. Arsenal will put three or four past United. Easy. Easy. So that'll be three points. And then the final game of the season, they'll be glad this is at home and not away, but it's Everton. That was away at Goodison Park. Could be tricky. Could be tricky. But it's at home. Three points in the bag. So if we look, if we actually do an analysis of the games remaining, which games are really the tough games? I'm going to put Chelsea as a tough game because on the day they're a good side and it's a half 12 kickoff and it's just after Arsenal play Porto. So they could be tired. So that's one. Manchester City is obviously going to be a tough game. Brighton away is going to be a tough game. Uh, Villa at home is going to be a tough game. And realistically, that's it. I might throw Spurs in there because it's a North London derby. But honestly, I expect Arsenal to deal with Spurs. So I'm looking at the four games there for Arsenal. If you win all four of them, you probably win the league. You probably win the league. Now, of course, we're going to have to wear news on Martinelli. Heard that he got subbed off last night due to an injury. That's obviously bad news. Injuries is going to play a key part, of course. That's a standard caveat. But listen, guys, Arsenal are a serious team. And in these next couple of weeks, we're going to see just how serious Arsenal Football Club are. Guys, make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Give me your comments down below. What do you think about Arsenal? And I'll catch you guys in the next one.